Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi. Welcome to the crafty corner. Today, we are going to make this adorable little box that I learned from a video um, from a, a UK Stampin' Up! demo, Linda Parker. It has this little sleeve that's your suitcase and a very sturdy two-piece box inside. So, uh, Linda's from the UK and their paper sizes are different than our US sizes. So, you do need one piece of 12 by 12 and one piece of eight and a half by 11. So I did, and actually while I chat you up, let me put this here. Here are the dimensions so you can see that. Um, but I did resize the box with some help from my husband and we made it so that you could make it with two pieces of eight and a half by 11. Let me put these in here. So there's a little size difference. We kept it the same depth, but it is, it is smaller. So I will share those um, information in the comments and also at the end of the video. Okay, so let's get started. You need a big piece of paper from your 12 by 12 and it is cut to 10 and an eighth by eighth and three fourths. You also need your other piece of paper from the eight and a half by 11 cut to nine and five eighths and eight and three eighths. You need a piece of designer series paper. I'm gonna use these pretty leaves. This is from the Daisy, uh, whatever it's called, the daisy paper is what I call it. And this is 10 and a half by four and a half. And then you need another piece, this is your strap, and it is five and three fourths by one and a half. Okay, and then you'll need a little scrap to cut some holes. All right, so let's get started. Pull in your scoreboard. You could use your trimmer, but um, I think this is one of the best. If you plan on making a lot of boxes, you need to spend the $30 and get the Simply Scored. And it's the end of celebration, so you know what? If you spend your 30, add a couple little things, you'll get to 50 and get something free. Sounds good to me. This paper is one of the choices. This is the Bubbles and Fizz paper, which is a free selection um, from celebration. Only till March 31st, 2018. Okay, so let's score. On the long side, and I like to use the that end of my score. And I'm not gonna press real hard because I did actually pre-score this for us, but we're gonna do it together. One and three eighths, two and three fourths, seven and three eighths, and eight and three fourths. Turn it to the short side, score it at one and three eighths, two and three fourths, six, and seven and three eighths. Okay, bring in your smaller piece. On the long side, score at one and a quarter, two and a half, seven and an eighth, eight and three eighths. Turn it to the short side. Score it at one and a quarter, two and a half, five and six, seven eighths, yeah, I did that right, good. Seven and an eighth. Okay, get your little piece, that is your strap. Put it on the long side, score at three fourths and one and a half, then flip it around and repeat. Three fourths and one and a half, flip it to the short side and score it at three fourths. Okay, you have one more thing you have to score. You need a one and a half inch punch you need some scrap in the same color, and you are gonna punch four of these circles. I'm only gonna do one, but you are gonna punch four. Oh, look at that, it almost landed perfectly in place. And then you're gonna put it right in the corner, I'm gonna slide this down, right in the corner, and you are gonna score it at three-fourths. Then turn it, line up that three-fourths line on the line, and score at three-fourths. Okay, then you are gonna take all four of these and you are gonna cut them in half. Okay, and we'll come back to them. Okay, your scoreboard can go away. Next, we need to start to build this box. So we have to cut out some of the squares. We are gonna cut out the three squares on each corner. So get your snips and we are gonna cut them out together. Okay, so you could, this way you can do the first one with me. Um, if you do wanna pause and just do it yourself or fast forward and get going and see how to put it together, that is also fine. 
but I want you to see how it gets cut out. You could use bigger scissors if you want, but I really do like our snips. If it was a little longer, I would probably go to a different, you know, pair of regular scissors. Can I get it on the line? There we go. Okay. So we do this to all the corners. Okay. So if you love making boxes, you're going to love our Stampin' Up! materials if you haven't already fallen in love and you aren't already buying them. Our cardstock is really nice. Our adhesives are nice. I mean, even these little scissors, 10 bucks, and they're super nice. Um, I've been a Stampin' Up! demo for five years, and just in the last three years, I've really started to make it a business, and I'm really excited about it. My team is growing. My classes are pretty full, and just so you know, I do offer all of these classes, or most of them, um, as a kit-to-go option. Okay, hold on, I'll pause on my commercial. Next step, we are going to notch the last flaps. And I didn't do this in my class, and I think when I was making one yesterday, I like this better. So you're going to notch that outer flap just a little bit. Okay, so uh, all these kits are available to go. The same price as in class, but then there's a little shipping added because, you know, I have to ship it. Um, and depending on the kit, depends on how we ship it. If there's stamping, Stampin' Up! policy does not allow demonstrators to include stamped items. So I would just send you the paper, like in this instance, the only stamping is the to and from. So you would get the little tab, but you'd have to stamp with your own stamps. And of course you can order stamps from me. I would be super happy on that. Okay, so we did all of the sides. All right, no more commercial. We're down to business. Now, each direction, you're going to cut up a tab. So whatever is facing you, you're going to cut straight up. Turn your paper, cut straight up from the bottom. Turn the paper. So this was my own little addition. Actually, I can't remember. I watched Linda's, it is Linda, right? Yeah, Linda's video a while ago. Turn the paper. But I found that I liked this process. Okay, then we're going to check if any of these tabs look like they need a little notch cut out of them. Or any part looks like it's going to catch up, you know, when we're putting it together. I'm going to give that a little notch. Okay, so let's put some, oh, let's burnish it. All right, so I am going to, which way am I going to fold? I'm going to fold this way. Okay, so I'm going to put the bumpy side up, fold, take my bone folder. Oops, I got a little, see that little bit of paper there? Okay, I might have to get it off later. And I'm going to burnish them all up so I get nice, firm edges. Okay, I mean, wouldn't you want to get a present in this little box? I mean, it's super cute. I think I'm going to, since I have a bunch of extras now that I'm making a video, I'm going to give one to my hairdresser with her tip in it on Thursday. I really like doing it. It's kind of fun. Um, has it convinced her to come to a class yet? No, but she definitely, definitely enjoys them. Okay, make sure you get, did I get the little tabs? Nope, so I'm going back around. You don't normally have to do two circles. You could burnish all of the pieces at the same time. But, you know, sometimes I'm special. Okay, so now we need adhesive. All right, so flip it over, and you need adhesive on the four tabs. If you're using a Tombow, you would probably add them as you go, but since I'm going to use tear tape, which I think works great, I can put it on here. Okay, so we're going to put two pieces on each of the little tabs. And let's do that to all of them. I do think you could use uh, Fast Fuse and you could, you know, scroll it on there. I think that would work fine too because it's a pretty sturdy box even without the adhesive. So isn't it cool how people make up this stuff? I mean, it's like paper. I wish I could come up with these more original designs or whatever, but usually I take a design that I see someone do and then I play with it and kind of make it my own. Although that little blue suitcase, the first one I made, I made it exactly as Linda did because I love that paper. I loved everything about that project. Okay, so we have that on there. Good. Now flip it over and on the long piece at the outer edge, we are going to put our tear tape. Okay, and we're going to do that to all four. 
And then we get to make our box. How exciting. Well, actually, you have to do this twice. But due to the Magicka TV and pre-prepping, so that this video won't be too, too long, you are going to have to do the second piece. Okay. Tear tape out of the way. You do want to burnish or push these down with your finger or your bone folder to make sure you get a firm stick. Okay, so you want to do that to both pieces, right? Here's my second one. I've done it. Okay, so let us build this box. So the way that this box goes together I do like this because it enables me to take all of the adhesive backings off and I don't accidentally stick my box together. Although, since I'm filming this, I probably will, but we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to take all of them off. See, your scissors come in handy for all sorts of things. And that, see how that adhesive is a little bit off? You can just kind of push it back on itself and that will work. So that's kind of nice too. That I don't have to get it exact. And I love that you get to tear the tape now versus the, the red tape we used to have where you had to cut it. The tear is very nice. Okay. Got those all. All right, now when I flip it over, should I press those pieces down? No. <laughs> I should keep them up. And I'm going to take this adhesive off. Although you are going to have to watch me do this part twice, and I'm really sorry. I did not prepare a whole second box. Okay, so, ooh, ooh, don't move. Okay, I'm moving my paper all around. Hold on. Okay. Oh, my, my little knight. Don't you love him? He's so cute. You should buy that set. I'm telling you. Okay, so now you're going to pick a corner. It doesn't matter. You're going to start at one corner by lining up the corner nice and snug. You want it pretty snug. Don't make a sloppy box because in this case it will be hard to put it together. And then you're going to fold this down. Ooh, what's that? Look at that. I should have trimmed that off. Okay, so I'm going to trim it off. And this might happen to you. So this tells me that those tabs were a little high. Oh, great. So this definitely might happen to you where you're trimming off something that you've already stuck on. Do I need more? Look, I do. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, I am really sorry, but you know what? I really want you to see this because this is going to happen to you, and you're going to be like, why didn't I do it perfectly like Audra? And then you're going to find out, well, because Audra doesn't always do it perfectly, even when she's shooting a video, and she decides that she's going to share that with you. Okay, so let's look at these other tabs. All right, the other ones, nope, this last one look pretty good. Oops, I think I'm not even on the camera. Okay, so let's carry on. All right, so now I got that, and I'm going to see how it folds down and in. And I want it really snug down there, and I'm going to press it down. Okay, and then we carry on. So we go to the next corner, and I push it down. Okay. Do I have another piece? I do. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna say notch those tabs. So I will notch them on the next box, so it will hopefully go together a little bit smoother. Okay, so the way I did it, since you do one at a time, I feel that it um, feels sturdy. Okay, line up the corners really well. Can you see that? There we go, see that corner? And then tuck googly butts. Oh my goodness. I should cut them all. Okay. Tuck that in. But it really, you really need a, a square box. There's not a lot of wiggle room. And I will tell you, it gets better as you open and close the box. So maybe before you give to someone, okay, let's do this one, you do it a few times because now the one I made first and I've showed it off a bit, it goes in much easier. At first, you're going to see when we put this, and that's what I want you to see too, is that when we put this first box together, it's going to be a tight fit. Okay, so what tabs were giving me trouble? Let's look. The tops. And you know what? Oh, because you know what I did on this one? I cut them down. So you want the top edge of each little tab to have that little 
notch taken out. All right, let's take the adhesive off. Oops, I like to do this side first. So that is good to learn. Live and learn. And it's funny, I did it on this one, but I didn't do it on the one I was showing you. So if you forget or you don't cut them down far enough, you will now know how to do it, and it will all work out. And if you make a wonky box on your first box, it's okay, right? You can give that one to your mom or to your kid, or you just keep it as a template because the next one you'll have to give away. So you can make it look real pretty, but you do have to give some of this stuff away, okay? Don't just make all your stamping up or your craft stuff, your cards, your boxes, um, just because they're pretty. Although, you know what? You can. I'm sorry. You can. If it's your form of art, there are artists out there that paint or sculpt, and they only do it for themselves. And, you know, I do think that's okay. But one of the fun things I like about paper craft is it's a little quicker, it's a little less expensive, and it's a little bit easier to share with others. And it's good when you're not really that good at art, but you like to make things because it's not that hard. Okay, Whew. let's do this. All right, so pick a tab, fold it in, get your thing lined up at the corner. Yay, it's at the corner. And then tuck your tab in. Hooray, I pre-cut that one. That one went better. Ooh, although I put that a little crooked, but that's okay. All right, let's do the next side. Right at the corner. Okay, and the tab goes down. Oh, that one was a little stiff. I maybe should have trimmed it more. Okay, number side number three. Let's see how that goes. And put it down. And last one. Carefully pull it out and tuck it in. So this is the hard part. Right? And then once all this done is done, the fun of the decorating begins. Yay, I did it. And I'm going to smooth out all the corners. Okay. And then we were having some fun with this in class. I'm pretty sure that the wider side, if you look, they're just slightly different. The wider side is the inside. So let's see. And I'm tell oh, I'm telling you that I got lucky. I really did. Sometimes the first time you put it together, it's pretty tricky. But look at that. First go. I didn't have to wiggle or bend anything, so my my extra five seconds of embarrassment for fixing my tabs made all the difference. Okay, so there's your box. Now, let's decorate it. So get your piece of designer series paper, and you're going to start, and I'm pretty sure the reason she doesn't have us pre-score this is, depending on how your box come out, it could be a little different. Also, it makes it just more fluid. It makes it part of the box and it makes it so you can get it on and off a little bit easier, I believe. So we're going to take our paper and start at one side at the back. Okay. And then we're going to finger score there. Keep a hold of it. Get to the next, put it down, get to the next edge, finger score that, the back edge, finger score that, flip it all the way over and finger score that. Okay. So now you have these two edges and see how one is shorter. We're gonna put the shorter one inside and that on the outside so you have a pretty clear, nice seam. So the score tape goes here on this last piece or the fast fuse and I'm just gonna use fast fuse. And I'm gonna go ahead and put two because it's easier with fast fuse. Life is easier, I can't believe they're getting rid of fast fuse. You guys should have bought it. You should have learned it and loved it and bought it. And then I'm going to put this on as neat as I can and press it down. Okay, so make that the bottom of your box, and then you won't ever see it. All right, next, the handle. Bring the handle in. Let's fold it. And score it. Look at that high-tech uh, scoring with my thumb and my finger. Line it up as best you can. Okay, and then where's my bone folders blend in? Okay, and then I'm going to open this up, and I am just going to put fast fuse down the middle. You could put glue or score tape. Again, either would work. I guess I should put that so you can see it. There we go. And then I'm going to score this. So think, this one's going to go down, and this one's going to go up. And I'm going to give them a little press. You know, I don't want to go crazy. If you get a couple little tears, like I got a little bit of tear there, that is okay. Take a little fast fuse. Fast fuse. Is this called fast fuse? No. Take a little bit of your Tombow glue 
and rub it on there and then rub it with your finger and that'll keep it from tearing anymore okay second side one in and one out Okay, so that's ready to go, and that's gonna go on the top, but first, and it's gonna go face away. Put all your rough edges to the back. All right, but first we need to play with those little circles, right? So the little circles, we cut them in half, and then we are gonna fold them on the score line and burnish them. And if you notice you didn't cut it in half exactly or you have something a little wonky, give it a trim. And I pre-did them all, so that will take us a little less time. Okay, you do need glue. So this is going to take a few minutes. Not a ton, but a few. Because I think the glue is the only thing that's going to hold this right. So you're going to put your glue on here. Not too much. Okay, and then the rounded edge is inside and the straight edge goes on your paper. And you're going to line up the edges as best you can. And you're gonna hold that just a little bit okay and once you get the first one there you can do the next one because then you can hold them together and it only takes a few seconds it really does but it will look really pretty and it's way easier actually than trying to use your fast fuse or glue dots or something like that so we're gonna put that on and we're gonna hold it and then you get to hang out with me while we glue. And I don't mind if you fast forward. It is okay. But I did want you to kind of get a feel um, for about how long it takes to make this box. All right. We're already at like at 20 minutes. And I got to skip a few steps. So, you know, it's probably going to take you about a half hour or a teeny bit more on your first box. And you may have to do parts again. And that's okay. That's part of the crafting process. Um, enjoy it. Have fun with it. You know, watch a movie while you're doing it. Hang out with me. Good. Okay, and so we keep on going. I don't know. I could fast forward this part, but we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to make you watch it all. That way you get the real feel. The real feel of how it feels to put it together. Oh, but it's so cute. And then this is when you start to get in that awe stage. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm making the cutest little suitcase. These would be perfect for um, someone with an American Girl doll, don't you think? And if you got her a, a couple, some kind of little gift that didn't come, well, they come in those pretty boxes. Okay, give them their American Girl box first. But to go with their American Girl doll, it's a super cute paper suitcase. And I think it's fun for kids. When I was a kid, I made... Well, it makes sense, of course. I used to play with paper and staples and tape and glue, and I would make all sorts of fun things. I remember making, did anybody's mom ever buy Avon? Yeah, I took the boxes that, um, I think it was like the figurines that had like perfume in them came in. I don't know, my mom bought a bunch of those. But I took the boxes one time when I was little, like elementary school, and I made a whole kitchen. I painted them, I made, um, you know, the oven and the refrigerator, and I cut them out and I'm sure I don't still have them but I'm I really should look and see if my mom has any pictures but um I'm sure they weren't perfect but I remember feeling so excited about that I made something like that and there's just something about making things in our real world out of paper or clay um you know or wood and just making them smaller and making them just fun so there we go there's me waxing poetic on crafting things but you must like them too if you're watching this video. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if you want to buy any of these supplies, uh, contact me or go to my website, audremonk.stampinup.net. You can order them. But I will definitely help you. That's one of the fun things about being a Stampin' Up! demo. I'm going to make that be the bottom. Versus ordering it online. Okay, I do love Amazon, right? But are they going to help you? Are they going to answer your question? I mean, they might answer them a little, but are they going to show you how to make it? Maybe not. And that's what you want a Stampin' Up! demo for, right? Because she's going to show you, or he, and they're going to tell you how to do it, and they're going to share their ups and downs, and that's what I think it's all about. We're going to make connections. I am trying to grow my crafty family of customers and team members and friends, so I would love if you would comment on this video. I would love if you follow me on, on, you know, the web, on all my sites. Oh my gosh, and I would love this suitcase. So I'm really pressing these down. 
Okay, and then, is this everything? I think it is. Look at that. What is that? 25 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to finish up here with just a couple minutes of, of little things. Oh, the banner. No, I'm going to show you how to make the banner. So you need your piece. This is one times three and a half. You can notch it yourself, or I'm a big fan of the banner punch because it makes it so much quicker and easier and very perfect. Then we are going to stamp. So I'm going to stamp to and from. Oh, actually, next you need a half inch circle. Okay, you're going to punch that. And look, don't, aren't these little punches so cute, the little tiny ones? A half inch circle. This I am going to just put, I would put fast fuser snail because you are gonna uh, hole punch it through. Put that on, and the reason I decided to put it first is so I know where to stamp my words. Okay, this to and from is from the fruit basket set, and I really like this font. I think it's super cute. The little fruits are super cute. The paper is super cute. Everything about that set is just cute. So, you know, you should buy it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, and then you need a hole punch. We used to sell a little hole punch. You want one, does it say the number? I don't know, with this smaller piece. But you can, this is when you can use your coupon and go to one of those stores and buy one because we don't sell it anymore because, you know, it's a pretty basic tool. There you go. Next, you need six inches, six inches of our linen thread. Love this stuff. I use it all the time six inches. Let's cut that off. Okay, six inches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. Okay, get the ends together. And then the ends are going through the circle. And then I'm tucking it through. See? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then I just tied it on. If you did a longer thread, I bet you could do that circle and tuck it through thing again if you want that look. But I just tied it in a double knot and trimmed down the edges. And the tag is really cute. Now, could you decorate it? I'm pretty sure uh, Linda put something, you know, a stamped and punched image on the front. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You could, you totally could put a happy birthday, anything you want. Um, but there you go. A cute little box. The top slides off. The box opens up and you can put stuff in there. Look, you could give someone some glue. You could give them a fast fuse. I will say on Linda's, if you go find it, she made an insert to put a little tiny bottle of Jack Daniels in there. Um, I have a lot of friends that do essential oils, so I'm thinking you could make some kind of thing to hold the oils in there. Um, that would be a super cute gift for a friend. Um, of course, gift cards will fit in here, candy. There's lots of things. It's a pretty generous sized box. If you have a little less stuff and you want to make a smaller box, let me flip this over so you can see the measurements, and then we're all done here. Here it is. You would cut your paper to nine and five eighths times eight and a quarter, and then nine and an eighth times seven and seven eighths. I've downsized everything so that you could make the box smaller. So there you go. You got that? Okay. So contact me. Let me know how you're doing. Let's see. Can I squish them all in the frame? Where's the blue one? <laughs> I'm making lots of suitcases. So thank you so very much for watching my video. Have a wonderful day. Stay crafty.